Hey guys, what's up? Today, in this video, we're going to check out selectors in RecoilJS. So, two weeks ago, I made a video of me trying out RecoilJS, where I got introduced to the concepts in RecoilJS, uh, which are ma ma mainly two things, atoms and selectors. Last week, I did a video on atoms, so this week, I'm going to do a video on selectors, right? So, uh, if you have time, please do check out these two videos that I've made. I'll leave a link in the description below. So selectors, what is selector? A selector represents a piece of derived state. You can think of derived state as the output of passing state to a pure function that modifies the given state in some way. So this selectors is very similar to reselect library that npm uh, in in npm. So basically, you can like you can combine the state values and create new objects from them so we'll see this by a very simple example that I'm going to implement it'll make a lot of sense after that so for this example what I'm trying to do is I'm going to have two states with me right I'm going to create them with this atom so it's it's like you have two reducers so I'm going to create a new object combining data from these two states so let's do that so first I'm going to have uh, a list state so this is, this is just going to be a list. Uh, it needs a def it's, it needs the key. I'm just going to call this list state, and then it needs the default value. So I'm going to have just two objects. I'm going to call this one, and I'm going to have a user ID. You'll know why later. So name. Uh, it's going to be two, and then user ID two, right? So this is our first state, and the second state I'm going to call it user state. Const user state. Atom. Again, we need a key. I'm going to call this user state and then the default value right so i'm going to have two users uh, i'm going to call this username user1 and i need an id id1 and then have another user username user2 id2 so we have these two states now Let's just say this. Uh, let us consider this use case. So, I need an array of objects where this user, where uh, the user ID, I basically need to wait. Uh, I'll come from the start. So, this user ID represents this ID that we have in user state. So, if this user ID is equals the ID in the user state, I want this data to be there here. So basically, so this object has user ID 1, which is equivalent to this data. So I want the data in this object to be something like name 1, user name 2, and then ID 1. So basically, uh, the data in this user state has been mapped to this uh, uh, if the user uh, ID is equal. So this is, this is what I want. So in order to do this, what we have is we can use the selectors that react th that recall gives us. So let us do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new const the selector state. I'm going to call this map user list state and then we call the selectors so if you see the documentation <coughs> you, need, you, need, you need to give it a key and, it, and then it gives you this get function from which you can get the data from the state so key equals I'm just going to call this map state and then we have this get function right let's see I forget the syntax always yes so you get this and then over here you can do whatever you want you can get the state 
So from here, I'm going to get these two states, right? So I'm going to call uh, const list, and then now uh, we're going to do get, and I'm going to pass in this this state. Then const user users get user state. Now we have these two states. And now we can combine these two states uh, depending if the IDs are equal. So I'm going to return that. So what we can do is list dot map uh, item, which is the iterator, right? So return item, and then if this item dot user ID equal equals this ID, I need to kind of return everything, destructuring it. So Destructure uh, user state dot filter. Uh, I'm going to use the find so that I can get an object. User, if this user dot id equals item dot user id, right? So what we're doing here is we're basically uh, wait a minute. We're basically comparing these two states and if the IDs are equal just take this and destructure all these values over here so that is what's happening over here so what we have is depending on a condition we combine these two states right so now in order to get this over here what we can do is const we can just call it like this we can use the uh, use recoil value hook which I'm gonna do now so const oh wait right here const map state equals use recoil value I'm going to pass in this and then console.log map I'm, I'm going to console log this and see what we get so what we should get is if this id equals to user id the username should be inside this object so let us see if we got that result and which we, we, we got the result guys so the IDs are equal and we got the username data inside this so basically the user user object is mapped with the list object so this is a really good example of how we can use selectors in recoil uh, you, you can just do this in your component but it is very less efficient selectors are the right thing to do so uh, this is a small example of using selectors in recoil I hope this video makes sense uh, yeah, so let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.